Okay. You ready to leave? Welcome to the team, by the way. Now let's let's make sure you stop sucking here, okay? So we're gonna go over a few things here, okay? First, uh, that's what I Pharaoh. Okay. I will Guide to play Pharaoh. Okay. Two things. Number one, rocket jumping. Do you know how to rocket jump? If not, you look at the ground, right? Okay. You you do a rocket, right? Which boosts you up in the air. Did you see that? Now, if you jump afterwards, it puts you up here. Okay. Now, if you boost, if you rocket jump, if you if you throw a rocket, you jump, and you shift, all at the same time, one right after the other, rocket jump, shift, it'll shoot you into the air like a mile. Let me show you. Okay. And you want to do this every single time you go up because it just helps you go higher and saves you time. That was better. See that? You just sit here and you tap. And you can get low. All that good stuff. Okay. Alright, a few things. Number one, how to deal with hit scan, okay? So people think that like, oh, they're running hit scan. What is wrong with this bot? What the heck? Dude, he just had a stroke! Okay, anyway. So, how do you do with Hitskin? People think that Hitskin is like the death of Pharah, but in reality, Hitskin is really easy to do with this Pharah, okay? So, say their Hitskin is playing up on this high ground, right? So, you wait for your conk in your shift, right? And then you caught you 180, you conk. Why is conk on right click? Oh my gosh, Ice. It's terrible. I mean, it's probably better, but I use it on E. Okay. That's good, right? Okay, so he's gonna be sitting up there. So you 180, you conk, and you shift on top of him, okay? It'll shoot you diagonally, and it'll it's an easy kill, okay? So, see him? That was really bad, but let's try again. Um, the other th important thing to know is that shooting at people's feet is a million times easier than shooting them in the face. It takes longer, but it's uh, way more consistent. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so you see him, you wait. Okay, so that kind of makes sense? So you give them no time to shoot at you, and by the time that you get to them, you knock them up with your... Because it, it displaces them, right? So it's harder to aim. More time just for my sake. There we go, that was better. You just get right up in their face. Okay. It's a lot easier for someone to aim when they're this far away than when they're this far away. Okay. Uh, number two, how to barrage. So you're barraging way too high up. You're barraging like, from here, right? And barrage is also rockets, so it takes that long for it to hit the ground, right? So instead, what you want to do, right, is that same kind of deal. You kind of want to wait off to the side, wait for your opportunity. And then you conk in, get about here, and then do it. Okay. It gives them no time to react, and it does a million burst damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna build another ult here. Also, playing corners versus hit scan is also super helpful. 
And versus like bunker and stuff like that. You just play corners and just tag with damage. Because you can pre fire. Alright, here we go. So let's say they're like, oh, we're gonna nano barrage here. So you wait. The enemy team's all over there. You're like, we're doing it now? Okay, go. And then you con. Okay, that was garbage. Alright, we're just gonna redo that for my sake, because I was flipping poop butt sauce. Alright. Like, okay, we're gonna go. Whatever. Just in. You get the point. Whether I hit it or not. Okay. The other important part of Barrage is once the first target ties, you need to know where the other ones are. It's a lot like Blade, right? It's with the case of Genji, right? It, it's the same play, right? You go for one person, then you need to know where the other ones are, too. Oh my gosh, my mana is on the wrong key, too. Am I just stupid? Oh wait, I didn't switch it. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of scuffed water view. There we go. Okay. What? Why does it work? I just switched it. Hello? Here. So that's the support right there, okay? And these are the two DPS, okay? So you wait. I'm gonna get in the sight. Then you find another target. Dash for another one. You need to know where they all are, right? Kind of the same idea. Uh, while we're sitting on Genji, some good combos, right? So you left click. Dash, right click melee, okay. okay. Kinda gotta wait a little bit for the right click melee just at the end, but it's worth it. Uh, another thing you can do is just dash, right click melee. Melee is really good just because it's extra burst damage. And burst damage is always good because it's unexpected. Uh, mostly what I do is I go right click dash melee is my favorite. And then you just poke people until they get low and then you kill them. Okay. For now just use that one. Put people on high ground and stuff like that. It's really easy. You can also hold right click. It'll go off as soon as it's available. Double. And you know how to cancel the animation of Blade, right? You can cancel E, your deflect with a wall climb, okay? And you can also cancel the end animation, the sheath animation, with either dash or um, deflect or wall climb. I'll show you. I can show another blade here. I don't know if you knew that you can do that, but you can. 
Um, and then I just, I cancelled it with the shift, um, the blade before this one. And also, the important thing to note is that the end, the deflect animation, will stop. Um, will get stopped by the sheath animation, so long. Oh, they, pa they patched it! Oh my gosh, I forgot. Never mind. Never mind, you can deflect without it getting cancelled. I lied. Totally forgot that they patched that. Um, that's all for that. Actually, I'm gonna go back. I lied. So the left click range is gonna be about here. Right? about this 20 meter range, right? If you get any closer, like here, you're gonna wanna go with right clicks. Like 15, so I think it goes by 10, right? Yeah, so this is 20 meters away. This is 10 meters away, okay. So this is where you're gonna wanna start going for right clicks. Cause you can start hitting multiple. But from here you wanna hit left clicks, right? And you wanna dash closer, you wanna go for right clicks. So it's about this range right here that you want. And then if you get closer, that goes. Okay? Um, not that. My business, my room. I will so, do you know what flicking is, right? This whole deal. Like, you're able to flick your mouse. Okay? So, why we're talking about this is because you want to use this. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. You want to use this tactic on Pharah. Jeez. I used to do this all the time, I got really good at it. I haven't done it in a while though. Anyway. Also, for, you know, jiggles, you can cancel your right click with abilities. It's, it's kind of funny. Anyway. Um, yes, so with Barrage, you want to do that same thing. So not only should you do it with rockets, you're you, not know, going anywhere. Um, you should also do it with uh, your barrage. I should hit my forehead. It just makes it a lot more consistent. Instead of trying to like track where they are, instead of like you know tracking where they're going and then doing that, nobody's gonna walk in straight lines, right? Also, a good way to practice Farah um, mid air shots is to just boop this bot and then try to hit him on the way down. There's workshop modes though now, so you don't have to worry about that. Right. So, anyway, when you go for your nice little hog broad, I can't. I can't. Like. I think I think I'm going through these things, which is making me annoyed at best. Anyway, good point. Is there anything else? What else works on Hanzo? With every day. Of course, you don't have to do this, right? It's it's optional, but the option is there for you if you'd like. If you want to try doing it. Is that the best you can do?
It's really a Kobo. I don't know. Anyway. Anyone else? Yeah, so you're gonna have to learn Doomfist, by the way. So, I'm gonna give you some starter tips for him. Okay. Your right click should be used for movement, okay? And here's why. Okay? It shoots you super far. Here's your normal right click, okay? If you just tap it, it moves at 5 meters. If you tap it and hold space, it moves you 20 meters, bro! 20 meters, that's insane. And then it gets even longer if you hold the punch. And you hold it at the very end, and you go about 25 meters, right? Okay, so basically it's all about ability rotation, right? So what you want to do, your combo, right? You sit on high ground, you wait, and then you go for an E, you go for left click, you go for a shift, and then left click until they're dead, okay? And then while you're in there, you can also punch out, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. So that about coming my target right there. He was super low already. Didn't matter. But also you're gonna have to learn how to 180 as well. That kind of makes sense. So you can. The reason why you do that is because you can cancel the left click animation with the shift, like this. Yeah. So, give me a second. We'll do the same bot. I flipping garbage, dude. Let's try again. Then if you have ult, you're welcome to go in like that, but use ult to get yourself out. Okay. Hello there. Hello. Oh, did you see that? Oh my gosh, you like slid, dude. Oh my gosh. This is the most irritating part about this. Anyway. Um... Other than that, there's not much. You just... You want to be very mobile and you don't want to ever use your right click to kill people unless you're in the middle of a fight, right? So you kind of just fly around, look for people. Meteor strike. You don't get a reset on your abilities. You're not getting away. Okay. He's really fun once you get to it, so I, I'll guarantee, I can guarantee that you'll like him. He's kind of got to learn him. I heard you. Just, the most important part is rotating your abilities. May. Alright, so, the uh, flick also works on May. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um. What was I gonna say? Basically, all I need to know is, you know, the freeze, headshot, pretty easy. You can move, yeah, your momentum continues when you when you uh, shift. So if you're like jumping or whatever, you'll continue jumping. You'll continue the animation. So if you want to like jump behind cover, like if you're fighting this guy, and you get really low, you can just do this. Right. Also, uh, Blizzard is a projectile, so you never want to like throw it. You want to like go where you're going and then just drop it on the ground. Because then it'll go off immediately. If you don't want to get eaten by Diva, I can guarantee you. The longer it takes to touch the ground, the longer it takes to go off, which is bad. Can't 
Also, your beam is a projectile, so you gotta put it a little bit in front of them. Just to tighten it. Because, like... You can kind of tell it's projectile. Also, while somebody's frozen, you can do a double headshot if you do it correctly. So because of the projectile, the last little bit of the ice will freeze them. Like that. You can get two ice goes off. Okay. Um, otherwise, um, eventually, walling needs to become like second nature. And you just need to be able to know where to place the wall and just have it ready. Okay. That'll just come with time. But for now it's gonna be a little awkward. And you're gonna just gonna be like, uh, uh, you don't wanna do that, right? Because if something happens you need to be able to block it, right? So if like uh I don't know, like a what like a Ryan charger or whatever, you gotta be able to stop it as soon as you can. Okay? Okay. As far as that goes, remember Reaper, he, his shift reloads, his guns, um, Tracer, all good, Widow's all good, you know, try flicking on Widow too. One shot. One kill. Good. It can also be super for like mobile characters, like Genji and stuff like that, because he's all flipping around and then you just go, Bam. you know what I'm saying? Me? Instead of trying to track him. You might have to lose him, but we'll get there when we get there. Junkrat, you'll just have to learn those projectiles. Also learn how to double jump with your mines. Because you have two of them. So it can get you up to little high spots that you normally couldn't get to. You can also triple jump, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Um, I think that's it that I wanted to worry about. Kind of a better route for the walls. So kind of like Farah, what you can do, you can get into position and then ult, like on top of them. Right? That's pretty cool because they don't know where the tires coming from. I'm gonna try a triple jump just for the knees. show you now how to put this stuff into action. Now entering the temple of Anubis. Ready for battle. Keep the skies clear from me. Yeah. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Jesse McCree, Outlaw, Reward, $60 million. The reward could make up for Ippy's branch money. Hey, come on now. I will not waste this opportunity. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Behind my Defend objective A. 
Get it done. Bad guys. It's up. Sorry, I was reading um I was reading Bugger's message. I kinda Ready for that. Give me a second here. I will not waste this opportunity. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Get it done. Bad guys. It's done. You played this really badly, and I'll show you why. That conk was terrible, for one. Your fuel management is awful, for two. So, the way to use DPS, right, is you want to catch them when they're rotating, okay? You don't want to catch them when they're set up, because once they're set up, they're going to be able to block your damage, right? Because if they have an... So, say they're rotating, right, and they're walking, and they have an Orisa, right? You want to try to make her use, you want to make them use abilities that they don't want to use, right? You want to make them shield, you want to make them maybe use mobility, like boosters, DM, and that kind of stuff, and force them to use stuff that they don't want to use, right? It's kind of your job. You want to cast them in rotations. That's the, that's the basic idea, right? So, you want to cast them right here, because they're rotating right now, right? So they're all rotating right now, completely free of a Reinhardt shield, and they're all in this tiny little space, and they're going to be in this tiny little space, which is perfect for Pharaoh rockets. Okay? But instead you decide to... Let's watch what you decide to do. You said you decide to 1v1 a Pharah and a Mercy and don't hit anything. Then you want to be one hog, and then by the time, by the time you've done absolutely nothing, when you could have, they've already pushed on your tank. So you could have caught them in rotations and just kind of rain damage on top of them, but you didn't. Ferris should have been really, really good here, but you didn't play it well at all. That was a good Kong. Kong mainly should be used for movement. Uh, boost is fine for the most part, but being able to move super fast in the air is extremely, extremely good. And this, this we just got shattered, so you know we're about that. Just bad play from everyone. Initiate. Ready for battle. One. Attackers in Anna. Defend objective A. Take a deep breath. Now he lets achieve our objective. So I'm not even gonna worry about the rest of this map actually. Um, you breaking field is fine. Uh, here, you just do your job. And then swap it in Zarya, just make sure you bubble Ryan um, or people that get low, and then use your own. Um, in a bunker situation, you want to use it um, to tank a little bit of damage, right? Like while you're pushing, just push in front of the right shield with a bubble, and you'll, you'll block a little bit of damage, right? Or um, blocking like hooks and stuff like that, okay? Um, other than that, your play was fine for the most part. I just wanted to point out that Ferris stuff. And then we'll quickly move on to your Bonnie. Traveling to Mumbai. Ready for battle. Mio Yuas Tesen. There's nothing I haven't seen. Stick to bed. 
ready. Defend objective A. Let's we'll see what you do here. Actually, I like this fight's just hawk dying really. What are you aiming at? Like, aiming for the ground. Yeah, it needs to be communicated better because he didn't have ash for this. Don't fight a mage. Just about yourself. You should know that everybody's dead. And you can't push on a tank like that. Pushing right clicks is fine, but. But Reed did. Oh, you did, that's where the fight started. So, funny enough, actually, we could have started that fight with you if you hadn't staggered yourself. You put a Genji again? Right there. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you played that well. You played it. You played it pretty far away. That's good. So you do know how to rocket jump. Okay, that's good to know. This is fine, this is all good. See how you're, you're so far above them, they have time to react to what you're doing. Like, McCree almost killed you. Heroes never die. 
I'm not going to rear with the rest of the map, but hopefully all that was helpful. I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, and on to someone else that I don't know yet.